Our next unit is our printmaking unit. So this is what your sketchbook looks like. And we're gonna to start today just kind of by talking about what printmaking is and some of the tools that we're gonna use. So printmaking is a type of art that uses an inked block or plate to create an image. This allows multiple printings, unlike drawing or painting. So here's kind of an example where this block is created, similar to a stamp, and it's used to create multiple images. Printmaking started in China. The Chinese developed a printing technique called a woodcut to print books of Chinese characters and images around 100 AD. So this is a large piece of wood that they carved into, and then they would print it over and over again to create a book. So let's talk about some of the tools. This tool is called a linoleum gouge. So in your sketchbook, you need to write down the definition. A linoleum gouge um, is a tool that we use in printmaking to cut wood or linoleum, all right? The blades are numbered. The larger blade means um, the larger number, okay? The next thing we're gonna talk about is, is a linoleum plate. This is the actual surface where you create your print form. We're gonna be using linoleum for our project. There are lots of different things you can use for printmaking. Um, you can use wood. Um, you can use a piece of plastic to create a different type of print. You can um, use metal, but we're just going to create a print using a piece of linoleum. We're also going to use what's called a brayer. A brayer is a rubber roller used to apply ink to your plate. So you roll the brayer in the ink and then you roll it across your plate, similar to putting a stamp on a stamp pad. The other materials you use are an ink and a palette knife. Palette knife is how you spread your ink. Here's the ink. And then we will do what's called stamping, where you press an object onto ink or paint and then press the object onto paper. So here's an example of printing with a pepper. Another type of printmaking that we could talk about, what we're not going to do is called a monoprint. A monoprint is a single print. So say you're using a piece of plastic and you paint on it, and then you turn that piece of plastic over and you print it on a piece of paper. That's what we, that is what we call a monoprint because once you print it, the paint's gone and you can't do it again. You could also create a symmetry print where you paint on one side of a paper, fold it in half, and it creates a symmetrical print on the other side. A collagraph print is a print made from a variety of textures and shapes glued to a printing plate. So for example, this person used, looks like maybe bubble wrap, cardboard, buttons, and they glued it down and then they rolled paint over it or ink and then they stamped it to create a print that allows all these different textures to be shown. A relief print, which we're gonna do for our project, is when you use linoleum or wood and you carve into it and then the, there are areas that stick up. So the carved areas are the white areas, the relief areas are the gray areas that have not been carved. And so that's what we're going to do for our project. So we're going to take a piece of linoleum and we're going to draw either an insect or an animal and create a print. Here's kind of a finished one. And then we're also going to do a little fun with watercolor and print on top of that. So today we're going to work on sketchbook page four. All right. Um, you have the materials. Our goal for today is to get steps one through three done at least. Um, you might get step four done today as well. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate all of those steps for you. All right, so we are in our printmaking sketchbook. And we are going to turn to page four. And here are the directions that we're going to follow today. It says get a white piece of paper to draw your design from Mrs. Bradshaw. Draw design coming from the lower right hand corner with a pencil like the example below. So here's my piece of paper, and I'm going to draw something coming out of the corner, all right? It can really be any design you want. It doesn't need to be very detailed. Okay, there's my design. Pretty simple. All right, that's step one. Step one is done. Step two, on the next page, color in the center square using crowns. You might just have colored pencils at home. I'm gonna use colored pencils today and that's just fine. Draw design with colors like the example below. So we're just gonna scribble colors, all right? So I'm gonna do this really quickly. You please take your time. One thing I really recommend doing 
for this is making your colors really vibrant, meaning I don't want to see coloring like this. I want to see nice, bright colors like this. I don't want to see dull colors, okay? So coloring the whole thing, for the sake of this video, I'm not going to color in the whole thing. I'm just going to color in a little bit of it so that you can just kind of see. You can just do, I mean, you can do random, random colors all over, okay? It doesn't have to be anything. In fact, you're not really supposed to draw a design, and you'll find out why in just a second. Okay, so I want to see nice bright coloring, nice bright coloring. Let's look at my example once again. Okay, here's my example. I kind of started from the center and created like this burst of a, um, like a rainbow. Okay, so on step three, get a piece of styrofoam from Mrs. Bradshaw. Tape the paper design to the top. Okay, if you don't have tape, you can just set it on top. That will be just fine. So I'm going to tape it to the top and trace over your design with pen so that it um, goes through. So I'm gonna grab a pen, okay, and I'm gonna trace over the top. Now you don't have to press very hard for this to work. When you're done, you're going to throw away this piece of paper and you're going to see your styrofoam. Now, I'm going to go over it one more time just to make sure that my design is in there nice and deep. If you push too hard, you're going to go all the way through your styrofoam, which is not what you want to do. Okay, and I might even have a little fun with this. I'm going to actually color in the whole dot. And I'm doing this really fast and sloppy. Please take your time and do a neater job than I am right now. Okay, all right, so that's done. So this is step three. Step four, get a paintbrush and black acrylic paint. Okay, so here's my paint. Here's my brush. It says paint the styrofoam and turn it over and print on the crown design on the next page. So, that's what I'm going to do. Alright, I'm going to paint the entire thing black. And I'm going to actually set this on the back of this page so I don't get my other page all painted. You want to get enough paint to make sure it covers, but not too much to where it's going to leave tons of clogs. Okay. All right. So once again, I'm doing this quickly for the sake of this video, but please take your time. Okay. Now, you always want to make sure that the part of your design that comes from the middle is in the middle. So if I'm going to sit, let's set this down, see that's not in the middle. I want to turn it so that that corner is always in the middle. So I'm going to turn it, I'm going to put it down, I'm going to hold it. And I'm just going to kind of rub over it and stamp it, okay? So, you can use your hand. I'm going to use the back of this pen, and I'm just going to kind of rub on the back of it. Okay? You can kind of peel a little bit and see if it's working, all right? So, there's my first one. So, then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to paint it again. You're going to do this four times. Okay, so let's paint it again. And now I'm going to do the same thing where the corner of my design has to go in the, in the middle. So I'm going to set it on again and print again. Make sure that you rub it in really nice. I'm not going to for the sake of time of this video, okay? And there's my second one. Now, 
here's what you can tell from this, and I wanted to do this as an example. This one has way too much paint. This one doesn't have quite enough. You should be able to see the part that you push down with your um, with your pen, right? So you're going to do that four times. So I might even just try and spread this paint out a little bit, to be honest, and print it again without even putting more paint on it. Okay, and I'm not rubbing this very well. Okay, so you're going to do it four times. See how it's creating a radial design, meaning it's creating a design that comes out from the center. Okay, now I just did that really quickly so that you can see. All right, so you're going to have four when you're done, and then um, let it dry, and you will turn it in um, Google Classroom when you are all done. So that's how you do sketch with page four.